In this video we are going to take a closer look at the difference between console.write line and console.write because you might already have noticed when you wrote console.wr there were two different versions of this. There was one called console.write and one called console.write line. So let's try to make an experiment here. Let's try to write console.write line hello and write console.write line world like this. So now we have divided hello world into two right lines and down here I'm simply going to write a console dot read line. So if we play this we'll see that I forgot to switch the project uh, because I have created a new project here called, called 1.5 and maybe you don't want to create a new project it's up to you but I just want to show you I created a new project over here um, but right now it has said that it's um, 1.4 that it will run, so it's going to write the text from project 1.4. So I need to select here and select 1.5, so that's my um, startup project. So it will run. Then you'll see it will write hello and world on the next line. That's because I'm using write line, and write line makes a new line character in the end. So this will be written and it will switch line and then this will be written on the next line so that's why it's written it writing on two lines so let's try to make an experiment here we can try to go down and write console.write and write hello and console.write and write world so now we have hello world in a right and a right line so if you run this let's see what the difference is as you can see, hello and world with right line is written um, underneath each other on new lines. When write doesn't make a new line, it simply writes it right after each other as if it was one right line. So if you want a space between it, you can make a space here. Stop running it. You can make a space here after hello. And if I run it now, it will write hello space world. So as you can see I also have some white space here I just want to tell about that as well you can make as much white space as you want between uh, the lines of code it is just ignored by the compiler you'll get exactly the same result here that's exactly the same so basically you can put the code up as you want it so it looks nice maybe you want it to look like this or maybe you want it back at this that you can always put white space so it looks uh, the best for your eyes to read anyway based on this we can conclude that right line makes a new line after when it's done writing when write doesn't make a new line and that means that I would be able to actually um, say console dot write hello and if I do like this world after you see it, it does the exact same thing because the new line comes after the right line so it's going to be written in one line here but if I would switch them so this one up here becomes a right line and this one down here becomes a right then they're suddenly placed on two different lines here because the right line makes a new line I'm just gonna go back to this so based on what we know we can try to make a simple program that asks you uh, says welcome to the program and press int to continue because we might want to pause our program sometimes We've already seen that write li the read line can pause the program, but let's try to put it into a little better use, right? So if we make a console dot write line and say hello and welcome to my program, press enter to continue. So if I do like this, console dot read line down here then the code is going to execute and it's going to pause and I press continue or enter then it continues but maybe I would like some other code to be written afterwards when I press this so I can say console dot write line hello world so if I run that now 
it's going to write hello and welcome to my program, I press enter, and the program just shuts down. So I need another read line down here to pause after this has been printed. So I can say console dot read line. Here we go. So now when I play it, writes the first line of um, text, writes hello world, and press enter. I can also write hello world, press enter to close the program. Like so. So maybe we don't want this line of co line of uh, text to be written in the console because right now I click it and both lines are written. So maybe I just want to remove this line here. So I can do that by saying console.clear. So I use the console class, use the dot operator to open up the console class, and I'm asking for the method called clear, which actually clears the console buffer as it's written here. So if I play and I press enter, it actually deletes the original text and replaces it with this text here. Okay, So that is some basic, basic um, console um, operations that we can use to make some text in our programs. Thanks for watching my video. Please remember that Inscope Studios is a community found page, so please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return.